यूट्यूब चैनल शोशो क्लासेस में आपका स्वागत है आज हम इस वीडियो में पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सब्जेक्ट के मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बी ए थर्ड सेमेस्टर के लिए डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं नेम ऑफ द पेपर इज पर्सनल पर्सोनल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इसके मैक्सिमम मार्क्स 90 हैं टाइम तीन घंटे स्टूडेंट सबसे पहले शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन उसके बाद लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन यूनिट वाइज हैं जैसे आपका सिलेबस है उसी तरह से ये मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बनाए गए हैं इन क्वेश्चन को बहुत अच्छे से प्रपेयर कर लेना इसी में से आपका पेपर आएगा क्वेश्चन मोल्ड करके डाले जा सकते हैं उसका आंसर भी उसी तरह आपने दे देना है बाकी सारे सब्जेक्ट्स के भी मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यहीं पर मिल जाएंगे हिंदी पंजाबी मीडियम में भी उनको बनाया जा रहा है वो भी आप देख सकते हो और ये आपको वीडियो कैसा लगा ये ज़रूर बताना और कोई सजेशन हो तो कमेंट बॉक्स में कमेंट करना आपकी तैयारी कैसी चल रही है ये भी बताना और आपका पेपर कैसा होता है इसके बारे में कितने मार्क्स आते हैं ज़रूर इन टच रहना सबसे पहले है शॉर्ट क्वेश्चंस डिफाइन पर्सोनल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड नेक्स्ट गिव एनी फोर फीचर्स ऑफ पर्सोनल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड देन गिव टू सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ पर्सनल पर्सोनल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड देन वट इज़ द रैंक क्लासीफिकेशन एंड नेक्स्ट राइट टू डे मेरिट्स ऑफ ब्यूरोसी एंड नेक्स्ट इज हु क्वाइंट द टर्म ब्यूरोसी एंड देन गिव टू करेक्टर सिक्स ऑफ ब्यूरोसी एंड नेक्स्ट इज डिफाइन सिविल सर्विसिस एंड देन स्टेट टू फीचर्स ऑफ सिविल सर्विसिस एंड नेक्स्ट स्टेट टू फंक्शन ऑफ सिविल सर्विसिस एंड देन वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ सिविल सर्विस and next is state two functions of upsc and then describe the role of upsc and next question what do you understand in formal training and then what is the difference between education and training public servants and then state any two rules of conduct for public servants in india and next differentiate between direct and indirect recruitment and then explain the method of recruitment of higher civil servants in india and next state the objectives of training and next is write a brief note on the santanam committee set up on prevention of corruption and next which organization was established on the recommendations of santanam committee and next what do you understand by conduct and next explain the significance of promotion and then suggest four measures for improvement of morale and then give two features of civil service and next is give two advantages of position classification and then write down about position classification and next is enumerate merits of direct method of recruitment and next write two remedies of bureaucracy right ke spelling yahan galat ho gaye hain and next uh, differentiate between direct and indirect recruitment and then mention the name of two central services in india and next name any two all india services and next write two problems of state public service commission and next is distinguish a central service and all india services and next distinguish uh, distinguish education and training and then name the training institute and its location which provide training to ips and then name any four central services and next is write two problems of tribunals and then two problems of promotion of on merit basis and next is name any two state services in india and then give a three advantages of promotion on seniority basis and next is give, give two functions of state public service commission and then what is the ethics in public services and next is what is the composition of the union public service commission and next is what is red tapeism and next is give two advantages of training and next give two demerits of administrative tribunals and next give two merits of admi uh, administrative tribunals and give four examples of administrative tribunals and next is write two differences between courts and administrative tribunals and next is explain about the composition of spsc 
and next is write down about the training of Indian administrative services and then what is T group training and next is define ethics and next explain the concept of moral and then define moral and next is mention the principles of promotion and then give two remedies of corruption in India and, uh, and next is give a two causes of corruption in India and next enumerate four causes of corruption in India and then what is the tenure of the members of the state public service commission and next where are IAS professional trained in India and next give three advantages of promotion on merit basis and next name the all India services and next is write any two methods of recruitment and then what do you mean by corruption and next define any two methods of training and then define conduct and next is define training and next define recruitment write any two functions of UPSC ये थे शॉर्ट क्वेश्चंस इसके बाद है लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन हर एक यूनिट में से दो लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आएंगे जिसमें से एक का आपने आंसर देना है 18 मार्क्स का ये क्वेश्चन होगा यूनिट फर्स्ट में है डिस्कस द मीनिंग एंड सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ पर्सनल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड देन डिफाइन ब्यूरोक्रेसी डिस्कस द करेक्टर सिक्स एंड मेरिट्स एंड डी मेरिट एंड रेमिडीज डिफाइन ब्यूरोक्रेसी डिस्कस इट्स करेक्टर सिक्स डी मेरिट्स एंड रेमिडीज एंड देन Discuss the meaning and characteristics of bureaucracy. And next is describe the demerits of bureaucracy. Suggest remedies for their removal. कई questions के answer same हैं. उनको mold करके डाला गया है. उसी तरह से आपने इसका answer देना है. Next है define bureaucracy. Discuss its characteristics and remedies. ये melodies लिखा गया. Remedies आना है यहाँ पे. आप ठीक कर सकते हो. यहाँ पे एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डिस्क्राइब द फीचर्स फंक्शंस एंड रोल ऑफ सिविल सर्विसेज डिस्कस द फीचर्स ऑफ सिविल सर्विसेज एंड द सिस्टम ऑफ इट्स क्लासिफिकेशन इन इंडिया एंड देन व्हाट इज पोजीशन क्लासिफिकेशन गिव इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस एंड फीचर्स and next is discuss the features and significance of rank classification and then write the significance and features of rank and position classification ye unit first ke questions the students baki sare subjects ke most important questions yahi se mil jayenge wahan se aap apne paper ki taiyari kar sakte ho bahut acche marks le ja sakte ho in questions ko bahut achhi tarah se aapne prepare kar lena hai iske notes prepare kar lene hain aur wahan se apni taiyari karni hai यूनिट सेकेंड है वट इज़ द रिक्यूटमेंट डिस्कस द मेरिट्स एंड डीमेरिट्स ऑफ मैथड्स ऑफ रिक्यूटमेंट एंड देन डिफाइन रिक्यूटमेंट डिस्कस इट्स मैथड्स एंड प्रॉब्लम्स एंड देन डिस्कस द कॉम्पोजिशन फंक्शंस एंड रोल ऑफ यूनियन पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन एंड देन क्रिटिकली एवेल्यूएट द सिस्टम ऑफ रिक्यूटमेंट टू हायर सिविल सर्विसज इन इंडिया एंड नेक्स्ट इज एग्जाम इन द रिक्यूटमेंट सिस्टम ऑफ हायर सिविल सर्विस इन इंडिया and then explain the composition functions and role of state public service commission and then what is the composition and significance of upsc evaluate its working ye unit second tha ab unit third ke questions what is training evaluate critically the system of training to civil servants in india and then write an essay on the system of training to the higher civil services in india and next is evaluate the system of maintaining discipline among the civil servants in india and next next question discuss the principles and significance of promotion in india and then give the meaning of training its types and various methods of training and next question explain the process of training of a higher civil services in india and next critically examine the training of a higher civil services in india and then discuss the meaning principles and significance of promotion in india and then uh, next question what are the various principles of promotion Descri describe the advantages and disadvantages and then write a detailed note on ethics in public services also mention the recommendations of second arc regarding ethics in public service 
in India and then explain about code of conduct and ethics in public services and next question write about discipline and ethics in public services. Ab hai unit fourth ke questions analyze the problem of corruption in India give its causes and remedies and then define corruption with causes and remedies in administration and next explain the causes of corruption among public servants suggest remedies for minimizing corruption and then what is an administrative tribunal discuss its types advantages and disadvantages and next what is an administrator tribunal discuss its basic features and problems and then compare the concepts of moral and motivation evaluate the level of moral in Indian administration and the factors responsible for that and then define moral what are causes of low moral suggest define moral what are causes of low moral also write the measure for improvement and then ye galat ho gaya yahan se measures to improve ye iske saath tha and next time discuss the causes and remedies of corruption in administration students ye the most important questions inko aapne acche se prepare kar lena hai may god's guidance be with you during the exam and may you be able to answer each question correctly my prayers and blessings are with you students aapko ye video kaisa laga isme se kitna paper aapko uski taiyari ho gayi hai ye zarur batana aur koi suggestion ho wo bhi zarur comment box mein comment karna baki sari video aap wahan description box mein link mil jayega wahan se apne paper ki taiyari kar sakte ho thank you so much milte hain hum apne अगले वीडियो में